Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 12th September, we'll talk about the shepherds of Bethlehem. We see some shepherds in Luke uh, 2, 8 to 20 verses, and we'll see what is so special about them. God first announced the arrival of Christ through John the Baptist, and he continued to reveal the news about his son, but not to those who might whom we might expect. Luke records that Jesus' birth was announced to shepherds in the fields. These may have been the shepherds who supplied the lambs for the temple sacrifices that were performed for the forgiveness of sin. Here the angels invited these shepherds to greet the Lamb of God. They all know that the Lamb of God is uh, the Messiah, who would uh, take away the sins of the world forever. The shepherds were terrified when they saw the angel of the Lord and the glory of the Lord. But their fear turned to joy as the angels announced the Messiah's birth. First the shepherds ran to see the baby without a thought about the sheep they had to leave behind. After seeing the Savior, they didn't stop, they didn't stay quiet, they spread the word. Jesus is our Messiah and our Savior. When we meet him in prayer and in his word each day and discover how wonderful he is, we can't help sharing our joy with our friends and relatives. The good news about Jesus is that he comes to all, including the plain and the ordinary. He comes to anyone with a heart humble enough to accept in whoever we are, whatever we do, we can have Jesus in our life. We don't need uh, extraordinary qualifications. He accepts us as we are. There is today a plague at some caves in the fields near Bethlehem which reads, uh, the revelation of God's great condescension, condescension that is uh, humility, was first given to shepherds, poorest of sinners. Still God's word is true that he will behold those who are of a contrite heart and will dwell with them. It is so true. The true shepherd, the shepherd of Israel, was in a manger. But these men were privileged to be directed to that manger to be the first to see the infant Messiah. Indeed, they were poor men and their occupation was a humble one. But they were fulfilling their uh, lowly task diligently, as indeed their great King K David had done in those same fields uh, long ago. They saw the glory of the Lord and now they will see the Lord of glory. The birth of the Savior, Christ the Lord, was good tidings indeed and great joy. They were immediately obedient and made their way into the town. They found the baby wrapped in swad swaddling clothes and lying in a manger as the heavenly messengers had told them. They stood in silent wonder at the manger bed of the Christ child. Soon they were witnessing to what they had seen and heard and they praised and glorified God. We have to emulate these shepherds if we are going to obey the command of Jesus that we should spread the gospel. Many since then have labored spiritually in a diligent shepherd ministry. Many have witnessed faithfully for God. One day the chief shepherd will appear and will suitably reward those who served him. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us about the humbleness of the shepherds and also the way God chose the most humble people and the lowest cadre in the community to see the great Savior as a baby, to give them that honor. Lord, please help us to learn humility. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. Amen. God bless you.